The God of War Ascension trailer is really meant to portray the human aspect of the character Kratos. You're trying to sort of understand why he's such a violent character. You want to kind of get inside his mind, and this trailer is kind of a first peek of really seeing Kratos as a human being. Todd had always said that this is the game where you do understand more of the human that Kratos is. Well, the storyline for the trailer is basically him dealing with madness. He's seen these visions, but at the same time, he's dealing with the remorse, the regret, and how he's going to deal with it, how, it, how is he going to you know, free himself. In essence, almost picking himself up from the ashes and moving forward. Uh, the general idea for the From Ashes uh, God of War Ascension trailer is to communicate more of the emotional side to the anti-hero Kratos. Oh, do you want to shake his hand? Can you do that? Yeah. Because you know on the day he's going to be picking you up in the air, huh? I think the most fun part of the shoot was actually at the shoot. We had a location day yesterday where we shot on location, found this um, a fantastic plate with the waving sort of fields, wonderful um, oak trees, olive groves. You know, we we're going to um, do that with a combination of this location and matte paintings for some of those really dramatic mountains in the background. We've got a great shot of pulling up from Kratos from above on this whole sort of like burnt out ground plate. 7.30 this morning we walked onto stage onto a concrete floor and we laid down a sheet of plastic, had two large dump trucks come in and dump uh, both their loads of dirt in the middle of it. We spread out the dirt into a contour that we thought would be the beautiful surface for this charred earth. We embedded rock into the, into the dirt. We took uh, branches, trees, twigs, put them in, and had a foam guy come in, and he foamed a thin layer of urethane over the entire surface. Good. And then, Brad, we'll put that one big limb right yeah. in here. Okay. The God of War fans are, are a really passionate bunch. And they're very vocal with us, uh, uh, both on PlayStation Vlog, on Twitter, on Facebook. Uh, and we, we love that, but th they'll let us know if, if we don't do the right job on it. Um, I feel when I work with an iconic character, there's absolutely a pressure. The expectations are high. Can't even imagine what it's like for Todd. Imaginary Forces did a great job working with us because you know we are so nitpicky as far as this has to be right. And they really pulled together the vision and, and um, moved it forward. Attention to detail is so important. We spend all this time working towards a certain look in the game, and then we want to make sure that this translates over to the commercial. Our fans will call us on it, and we want to make sure that, you know, from our standpoint, you know, it looks right, it feels right. I was thinking of just bringing in yeah. a little return to get more information yeah, just in there. Yeah, more information. I think we yeah. should go into his eyes after, after this. this. Yeah, yeah. And then sure. go to the dog. Yeah. One of the reasons why I think we went for a wide range of emotions through this TV spot was that we could show a very loving father and a remorseful father and then an angry father at the end. When he looks at the camera and his eyes squint, he's the Kratos that, that we know. When Kratos drops to the ground and his chest piece falls off as ash, it's palatable how much you can feel the weight of what he just lost and the pain and the anguish inside of him. Everything came together at the very end to create a, a great piece of art that I think the team is extremely proud of as well as um, hopefully you know, our, fr our fans really like it. <laughs> What's close? Close. She, she's done. PlayStation.